the blood system and actually maybe decrease the amount of blood thinners that they're currently taking. Um, Oh, real quick. No, can I talk about the New Zealand study, the uh, rowers? Yeah. Just going back about your recovery. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, yeah, the antioxidants. Correct. Um, antioxidants, as you know, is protective uh, towards free radical damage to cells. And one of the studies that actually has been done with Moxor is a double-blind placebo-controlled study on the New Zealand rowing team. And what they did is they took blood assays uh, prior to workout and then gave two groups either a placebo or actually Moxor and put them through their crew workout for the day. Afterwards they drew blood assays again and what they found is that the ones taking Moxor because of the antioxidant effect had a 35-36% reduction in lactic acid buildup. So what that means is that those cells are not being damaged from the workout and creating the, the lactic acid, which is what you feel a day after of a workout or exercise. So that actually is showing that it is cytoprotective or cell protective and actually improving recovery in athletes. And uh, that is the science behind what Dr. Mills is talking about. It actually, it actually works. Um, now is this product though NCAA approved or? So that's a great question. FDA? First of all, the, the, the product has, it's basically like asking is, uh, are grapes approved? Uh, is, is muscles approved? Um, it's, it's a completely natural food product, so it is not a drug. No, it's a completely natural food and the, the sources have uh, all been through our food safety authority process, which is like your FDA. So we have to um, comply with the same standards as a pharmaceutical company as far as the manufacture of it goes and before it leaves New Zealand it has to have a New Zealand government assurance a guarantee to the US government that it contains no contaminants such as the heavy metals or pesticide residuals what have you so in order for them to be prepared to do that they obviously ordered us um, on a, oh Richard, it's not there anymore, <laughs> on a really regular basis. Um, so we, we see the, um, someone from the NZ Food Safety at least every two weeks, quite often more regular. Um, they'll call on us when we don't know they're coming and um, there's a whole lot of protocols in place. For instance, the water where the mussels are grown are tested every single day by an independent laboratory and um, as far as our traceability goes, if you show me a bottle of your product and I can look at the, find out the batch number, I can trace it back to, uh, way back to when the seed, the seed was actually put in the water and I can tell you the water temperatures, the, um, the levels of salinity, all, all sorts of different things right, right the way through its life. Um, the day it was harvested, what boat it was on, what time of way it was, what was the rainfall the month beforehand, all that. Very good. Jeremy, let, let me ask you this, Jeremy. We get, we get calls in customer care going how many milligrams of this and how many milligrams of that and what percentages of this and what percentages of that and our answer is that we have a proprietary blend and people go, well, gosh, how come we don't know and how come you won't tell us what is it that we're trying to hide? Do you want to talk about that for us, please, sure. and why we do what we do? We're trying to hide plenty. We're trying to hide 20 plus years of hard work. Um, on, on the website, there is um, three analysis from, three, uh, from a laboratory on, on all the product or all the um, ingredients in the in the mock source, so you can see individually exactly what is in that capsule. What we're not prepared to do is um, tell the competition why Moxel works so much more effectively than anyone else's product. And it is part, it's, a lot of it's to do with the way we process and look after the product and keep it in its natural state, but it's also in the blend, um, the relationship to the the anti-inflammatory, um, the antioxidant uh, relationship to the the omega-3 sources and that's a competitive advantage anyone 
who's a distributor has over the competition. It, it won't show up day one, but over time, people, more and more people will become aware that Moxor works, or the the benef the effect that Moxor has is more is greater than a lot of other products that may be similar, but they they will never be the same until we start publishing exactly how we blend it. Very good. Thank you. Um, I have a question in the back from someone who says, what impact, and I don't know which of our doctors would be most appropriate, or you, Jeremy, to answer. What impact would Moxor have on gastric bypass surgery? I'll have to ask my uh, gastroenterologist friend. <laughs> That's outside my specialty, okay. because gastric bypass surgery, uh, uh, you remove a part of the, the, of the intestines in the stomach. And the intestines being a long tube, different segments of the intestines do different things at different segments, meaning they absorb different stuff. So I, I, I don't know that I'm the best person to answer that question. Can we get an answer within yeah. like oh, yeah. a, a week or so? Would oh, that sure. be reasonable? Yeah. Very good question. Hi. Hi, I'm Kathy Coakley from Coast Therapy, and um, I'm a distributor now, and it's the first time I've uh, actually carried a product in 23 years, and, and uh, uh, Dr. Kim and Graham and uh, Mills, and it's nice to hear maybe Kramer guys are on here, um, but uh, like I told you, uh, Dr. Graham, I, was, I tried, I gave a bottle to my mom who has epilepsy, and I gave my closest friend who has an inoperable brain tumor. Um, and from a neurological standpoint, it's pretty amazing. My mom uh, suffers from uh, petite malls, and uh, her petite malls have almost dissipated, and she's, she's uh, taking less Tegretol. And my friend with a brain tumor, again, is having less uh, seizures. And, um, and the nice secondary effects is that she, from all the chemo and all the um, um, secondary effects of, of medications, she's uh, regular now. But my question neurologically, what is happening with the Moxer with the seizures? What, what, and this really comes from team, Tim Healy, who's on the medical board and works a lot with children who have ADHD, uh, uh, bipolarism, and seizure disorders. And he speaks very eloquently about how the omega-3s are really going in decreasing the irritation and the inflammation of the cells. They're allowing the neurotransmitters to work in a more normal manner. And the example he's given is that he has many, many kids that are having the exact same um, uh, happening. They are decreasing their seizures and they're decreasing their medications at the same time. They're working synergistically with medication where one plus one equals four type of effect. And there is uh, no question that he, he did a, uh, a brief study where he had two groups of, of children with the same sort of problem and he was following them, one with regular medication, one he put them on Moxor. And I think it was after about one month there was such a difference, he had to start giving the other kids Moxor because the, it, it was such an obvious effect. Um, Again, I'm not a neurologist, but brain, nerves are, uh, phospholipids are an integral part of what they're composed of. And so when you're giving them what they need, what stabilizes those cells, what stabilizes the nerve conduction, you're normalizing the brain. And that is, that is a known entity in the neurologic literature that omega-3s help. There are articles written specifically about Alzheimer's and dementia and how they help stabilize the brains and slows the brain and slows down the progression of early Alzheimer's and dementia. It, 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 the answer is it just works. And in our society, because of our diet, because of the way our food is processed, we've gone away from having quality omega-3s in our diet. We're having more and more omega-6s, which are pro-inflammatory. That ratio, that balance is lost. And I was, was reading my triathlete journal this week, and there was a good medical article about this exact same fact that we talk about every week. The omega-3 to 6 imbalance, the source of food, the processing of food, and how we've lost that. And that's part of the reason why there's more and more uh, medical issues occurring. And normalizing that 
in the normal person.